Here we're going to break a stock's total volatility, that is its standard deviation or its sigma, stock A's sigma, into a systematic part and an idiosyncratic part. So the systematic part is going to be uh, the volatility that's linked to the overall market and the idiosyncratic volatility is going to be the volatility that's linked only to specific events of the firm. And so to do this, we're going to use a, a CAPM framework where beta is um, a stock sensitivity to the overall market. And so beta is the, um, the, the mechanical scaling up or scaling down of the market volatility into the stock. And so the formula that we're going to use is the following. The stock's total volatility, or sigma A, is going to be its beta times the market volatility plus what we're going to call the uh, idiosyncratic volatility of the stock. And so here I'll just call this idiosyncratic. And so since this is a decomposition, um, we're going to calculate this amount and then we're going to use this as the plug or whatever is left over. All right, so what do we have in the problem? We know that the market portfolio has a volatility of 0.2, so that's going to be sigma m. And the beta of the stock is here, so there's beta. So we can start by filling in this term here. So 1.05 times 0 0.20. That's going to equal stock's total volatility. So there's sigma A. So 0 0.78 is here. And then this is going to be the plug or the idiosyncratic volatility. So we just need to calculate these, these amounts and we will be done. So starting out um, here, so this is 0 0.21. 0 0.21 is systematic. What about the idiosyncratic? Well, it's whatever is left over. So to get back to 0.78, so 0.78 minus 0.21 or 0.57. So there's our decomposition right there.